Martin, would you say that the turning point in the game on Wednesday evening after such a good start was the David Luiz goal from practically nothing? No, that, that can't be the turning point, although it, uh, it proves in the, in the last couple of months that it is difficult for us to come back. And that is very strange because if you look at us the last couple of years, if we take the lead, it's very difficult to beat us. But that is a fact of life, and uh, but I don't think if you're 1-0 down that you can't come back, because we did it before, especially at home. I think the second goal, that was probably a killer blow, because that uh, you could see a few uh, faces, disappointing faces, and, and that dropped uh, the morale of the team a bit, and that was disappointing, because I still feel that if we could have come back 2-1 in the second half, there was more you know, to, to gain, and we didn't, so it was probably a bit harsh, 3-0. But uh, in the second half, we didn't do a lot to come back into the game. Um, and that was a big contradiction because the first half, I thought we did ever so well. But to be 2-0 down after playing that well, that was, that was a, a killer blow to us. So when it comes to preparations for tomorrow's game against Arsenal, what, what would be different? What will you do differently? No, we, we will try to put them under pressure a bit because you know that... Uh, if you see these teams, if you let them play and you soak up the pressure, they are good, you know, they will play their little one-twos, they will try to penetrate in your, your box and they've got five or six, you know, doing that. So uh, if you saw us away from home playing against them, we had uh, as, as much possession as them, so that was good. We created chances, uh, we tried to penetrate and get behind them and, and that is what we did and we scored three goals. Uh, last year we had a 1-1. I can remember that win against Arsenal. That was an unbelievable win, you know. I, I can remember Bobby Zamora scoring the win in the final minutes of the game. So that is the scenario you want, you know. You, I want to get us back to winning ways because uh, 40 points was fantastic, but, but we want a bit more. So we hope to get back to winning ways, as I said, and then pick up uh, eight or nine points probably. You picked a very attacking lineup with Mladen and Dimitar Berbatov and Brian Ruiz in that kind of triangle. Is that something that you're thinking of for the remaining games? There's a few things I have to assess, and I already did that, you know, because you, it's a second game. It was a second game against Chelsea, and of course they're still fit. Tomorrow is our third game, you know, so we have to come up with a solution. But against Chelsea, I thought that, of course, you can play with three midfield players, and Brian could have played as a number 10, but I decided to put Petrich in because Petrich can score a goal out of nothing, you know. And um, Berbatov, first half an hour was fantastic, so. That uh, paid off, but we didn't score, and that is always disappointing. So tomorrow we have to wait and see. Of course, there will be uh, one or two, maybe three changes uh, because of um, injury problems. Because if you look at Sasha Rita, we have to make an assessment on him. What, what's wrong with Sasha? Uh, Sasha got a problem with his ankle, but he's a tough guy. You know, he's a tough German soldier, so he will probably come back in our lineup. But we have to wait and see. Uh, but we've got Manu left, so. Uh, uh, hopefully for Sashi he can play, if not Manolev will play, so there, will, there won't be a, a big problem. And of course on the flanks we have uh, Kakaniklic coming back, uh, I called him back because I thought it was the time to get him back, he played all these games, he's fit, he wants to play for us, he's desperate to play, so uh, I have to make a, a decision on who's playing on the left and who's playing on the right. And Steve said, well, of course, he's back from suspension. Will he come back to his position? Steve will come back into the squad. Uh, I will never give away my lineup, but you know that Steve did very well. So it's only uh, it's a one on one. It's you're on forty points. Fulham are on forty points, tenth uh, in the league. It's it's difficult, I guess, to to motivate players. Although that didn't seem to be the case on Wednesday evening. And when you have teams like Arsenal coming to visit and Liverpool coming, there are still big games to be played. How difficult is it to to motivate the squad, or is that not a problem that you face? Well, I can lie and say it's easy, but I, I I don't know because I really thought that we were up for it against Chelsea. Mm. Uh, but to concede from, for example, second phase uh, free kick or from a corner kick like we did the third goal, yeah. It's bad defending. Is that concentration? Is that something to do with your motivation? Or, uh, as I said, can that happen? And I, I, I don't want to uh, accept that. So I can easily say that we are up for it and motivated, but we talk about that, you know, because I don't want players to, to think that they can rest on their laurels. And because 40 points is good, because we achieve what we, we wanted to achieve, but you never know. That is, that is one. And 
Secondly, I want for, for this club, I want to make a step. So I wouldn't like it to have 12 or 30 point, uh, points less than last year. You know, I want to, to get 50 points, for example. So that is the next priority and that is what we talk about it. We wish you luck on okay, Thank you.